Hi everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. Long time no see. I know I have been gone for a while, but I am back and ready to craft. I'm so excited to get back to crafting. Um, thank you so much to all my lo loyal subscribers. I am at 34,000 plus um, subscribers and I am so excited to bring you guys some new exciting things. Um, of course, same style I have because I can't change my style. I've tried and I just keep going back to shabby chic vintage. Um, just, uh, I just, I, I love like farmhouse. I love uh, shiplap. I love crackle paint. I just love it. Love it. Love it. So anyway, thank you, loyal, loyal, loyal subscribers. I promise you for being so loyal, I am going to have something so exciting for you coming up. I promise. And it's going to be very exciting. Okay. Also, um, I haven't been on YouTube for a long time. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to upload a video. I don't remember how really, but we'll see if this works. If you watch, if you're watching this, it worked. So yay me. Um, I want to thank my uh, subscribers that went back on old videos that had had questions on them and I didn't get to them because I was just extremely busy. Um, and I, I didn't even go on YouTube. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have time. So some of my subscribers answered those questions. Um, I've seen a couple um, on some videos asking where to get product or what product I use, what's the name, where to get it. And um, my kind, sweet, loving, loyal subscribers answered those. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so I ended up getting a full-time job working with my husband doing a traceability software. It was awesome. I love my job. I love computers. I love techie stuff. And I'm so excited I'm going to be starting a farm pharmacy technician school here soon. Um, and I'll be a farm tech. Which is kind of weird because I really like, like natural ways to um, cure and... Um, take care of your body so that's some of that's going to be tough on me but um I really want to learn about it and um anyway so that's coming up um you know I have a granddaughter some of you do um Chloe she will be four in September she's just the most amazing light of my life uh she's the best little cutest thing ever and if you follow me on Facebook you've seen her grow up to four years old because she well she's not four yet but you've seen her grow to three years old <laughs> and exciting news Emily's pregnant again so I have a new grandbaby coming and we don't know what she's having yet but uh, we're just praying for a healthy baby um, another thing um, on a lot of my older videos there's a lot of products that are not available no longer uh, the companies went out of business, or they sold, or they moved somewhere else, or they're just not, um, those products are not available. And I get a lot of people asking, where can I find this? Where can I find this? Um, and I'm very sorry, you know, Carla001 is no longer in business. Um, I think she will be coming um, back, and when she does, you guys will all know, because I'll let you know. Um, One Little Dreamer, the gorgeous, amazing, beautiful bling that I just don't even know how I'm going to create without it. Oh, Artie, I need that. I need the goodies, okay? So <laughs> hopefully if she's not going, if she's long gone, then I'm going to have to find it somewhere else to get them. Um, so a little over a week ago, I made a corsage and a boutonniere. And I loved it. I was just so excited, but it was such a small project that I just wanted to do more. I've got so many ideas in my head. I'm not working anymore. Uh, I don't babysit my granddaughter um, as often, so I've got more time to get to crafting. I have all of these goodies in this humongous scrap box um, that need to be used. They're screaming to be used. And um, so I'm coming back, and I've got a lot of templates in mind. So, um, what else? What else? Uh, okay, so like uh, about. A few days ago, I was emailed by a lady that wanted um, some type of a template that you could house mini albums and it has drawers and goodies and you know how I love to do stuff like that. So she messaged me and said, if anybody can do it, I know you can. So thank you for the, the confidence boost. That was very nice of you to think that I could just come up with something. And um, 
I wanted something that just wasn't just a little, you know, oh, you can put your mini album here, this, that, that, this, that. You know, I wanted something big, um, something that you could use, have many uses. Um, so I researched to try to make sure that there wasn't something like this out there. There may be. I researched. I didn't see anything. I uh, googled uh, mini album cases, mini album caddies, um, uh, all kinds of stuff. And so this is what I had in my mind and I didn't see anything like it so I thought okay well I'm just gonna make it and see how it goes and I constructed it in my head of course first and this is what I came up with this um, I'm calling it mini album uh, carousel caddy I think that's a pretty good name I hope um, so it houses three mini albums and the mini albums are four inches deep by six inches tall by two inches um, uh, wide and there's three of them and I have faux albums in there right now and um, I need my, my camera down more here we go so and then there's three places with five drawers they're all the same size drawers the bottom one looks bigger because um, the space under here is bigger so I needed a bigger um, just stopper because that this little drawer front is a stopper from that drawer falling in. And then there's the other one. And I just made faux albums for now. Just so I could hurry up and get this video out. Because I'm so excited to create again. And I thought you guys might want to know. So that's the three albums. Uh, and you'll need to, you know, make your own. So this is actually four and a quarter inches wide. And it's six inches tall. And it's two and a quarter is it two and a quarter inches deep? Yeah. Um, so you can mess around. I've I made it so that if you have a four by six album that's two inches deep, right here, two inches deep, that you've got plenty of room for embellishments. Also, when you put it all the way in, you still have a good quarter inch for embellishments on the binding. Uh, the drawers, uh, really good size for little trinkets and goodies. And then also, you know, you can decorate it any way you want. You have this area. You could put like a little frame. You could put uh, an envelope. Uh, up here you can put goodies. I decided to decorate mine. And then right here, this is kind of like a handle. I'll show you the underneath how it's kind of... So that's these are the mini album casings. And then these are the drawer areas. And so this big... There's a big... Um, right here, this is like a support that brings it all together and keeps it um, even all around and you don't have to have it as long as I do I just have it for a handle because when I want to move it around I want to grab it so that works as a good handle but you can have it cut flush with the top and then just put something on top of it and since it was open I thought we I need to make a pen a pretty pen with a big flower will be fun to write with and so all my flowers are um, roses my products are are just kind of old and and I know how the crafting world works you know you have something for a couple of months and then you know you got to get something new that's kind of how it works you know the the latest paper stash or whatever stack I have not I mean I've seen little things here and there by my Facebook friends that share stuff but I haven't been on YouTube I haven't watched videos I don't know what the what the in now is <laughs> so um I'm obviously going to stick with, with my um, style because I love it. And uh, so even the products that I'm using are not going to be available. I, the one thing that I know is Lenny Stamp Gang because they are going strong. They've got new sets. I just looked the other day. Lamore has some awesome sets that she has made. I haven't even looked at and I know they're cool because it's Lemore. And uh, my set's still on there. I'm so excited. Uh, Bodacious Blush, the Copper. Those I had to have a black, you know. Just my totally 80s set was, you know, what I didn't think that they had. Which was a Shabby Chic Pink, which is this Bodacious Blush, which I just love so much. And I used it yesterday on this doily that was white. And it sprayed like the day I, I got them. They are just, they're still good. And I have not sprayed this bottle in well over a year. 
So that's how good their products are. So I use Cotton Candy Pink, a mixture of Cotton Candy Pink and Bodacious Blush because the pink was just a little too bright and then this was a little too dark so it was kind of just like a combo of the two. Um, and then the paper is just old paper that I'm sure is not around. So, um, and the laces and the goodies. This is just a doily I had. Um, I am going to have a template and a full video tutorial uh, for $1.99. My templates are always going to be $1.99 because I just need enough to kind of keep up just to just to keep up with you guys and be able to keep creating and getting my chipboard and all that um, I don't need to get rich I don't want to be rich um, that's not something I've ever wanted so um, uh, I've got a lot of templates on my website and uh, video tutorials and I have digi stamps and I will put a link to that in the description I will have this is going to be a combo uh, template and tutorial so that I take you through it all. I also recommend heavyweight chip more, chipboard for this. That is what I use and that is what I love, but you are welcome to use medium weight, lightweight, cereal boxes, you know, stuff like that. Recycling is always awesome. So um, the only thing is, is when you use a smaller, lightweight, medium weight chipboard, uh, your drawers are going to be a little bit smaller, which is fine. Smaller is okay when it comes to my templates. Bigger is not. Because if you have something bigger and thicker, it's just not going to fit in the spaces. And it's just going to... You, you want it to be smooth. You want to be able to pull it and push it in. And it be a nice nice and smooth. You don't want to have to pull and something come off. So anyway, I, I keep all that in my mind when I'm building stuff. So I really hope that you will visit my website and purchase this template slash tutorial. Um, I will have photos of this um, at the end of this video. I am so thankful you have all stuck with me. I know that this year I missed the, uh, the ornament series. I'm sorry. It was a very, very um, hard time for my whole family. Um, I did get a a little bit of hate mail over it and I apologize for not getting those up. I did have plenty of ideas but I lost my bubba. You guys that have watched my videos have probably heard my dog bark bubba. I love him. I still love him. He has passed. Um, we had to put him down. His kidneys were just horrible. He had kidney failure and it was just a really really sad time. Um, and other things were going on. Our power went out in November. Everyone in where I live, had the, where our power went out. And that was pretty hard, too, because all of a sudden you have to stay in a hotel when uh, that's not in the budget, especially around that time of year. And um, it's either that or, or sit in your house and freeze. And there was a couple of nights that we did stay home um, in the dark, in the cold, and I would have to go out to the car started up and just sitting there with my heater on because it was so freezing and try to charge my phone and see what was going on in the world because everything was shut off. So luckily we made it through that um, and uh, hopefully we learned from it and we did not get a generator so we haven't learned enough yet but <laughs> we need to get a generator. Um, anyway that's kind of what's been going on with me. Uh, just busy, 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 living life, um, but I just can't walk by this room anymore and not, and not make stuff. It's just in my blood. I have to make things and I have to share. And so thank you so much, my subscribers. I am over 34,000 and I can't wait to come up with something really cool to thank you all. Um, besides saying it verbally and saying I love you and I'm so thankful, thankful, thankful. It's got to be something big. It's got to be huge, but we'll see what's in the works. Um, anyway, uh, stay tuned for some more projects, some tutorials, some bling. I still use my embelly centers. I made two of them, and that's uh, one of the private tutorials on my website. They are holding up very strong. Um, my Lindy Stamp Gang holder, LSG holder, is holding up my... Uh, 
oh, what was that? Desktop organizers. Those are still holding up. Everything that I did, uh, the, there's nothing that is falling apart. So I'm really happy because that says a lot about, um, you know, what, the things that I make and how I construct them. It makes me really proud that I've made these things that are holding up. They're being open. They're being used. Um, so that makes me feel very proud that my products are, you know, still lasting the way that I'm putting them together. So anyway, um, I'll see some of you on the tutorial and some of you I will see on the next video. Thanks so much for sticking with me. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.